Hi, this is Luke for Production Experts, and this is using Acoustica from Acom Digital for music mastering. Now, Acoustica has been gaining ground in the post-production community, but there is nothing to stop it being used for music mastering duties either. Let's take a look. Now, Acoustica has all of the editing facilities that you might need for your average mastering job, and it also supports multi-track as well if you're doing stem mastering. But today, I'm going to concentrate on just some of the processing available within Acoustica. Here's my unprocessed track that sounds like this. And I've adjusted the level of that unprocessed track just so that you can compare it to my processed track, which sounds like this. So first up, I'm using D-Clip 2 to get rid of a clip. Uh, that only happens once or twice in this track, but it's there nonetheless, and I can fix that easily using this particular plugin. So we're just over True Peak at the moment. So let's turn our chain back on and use D-Clip 2 to automatically detect the clips. One thing to bear in mind is to turn your output gain down so that you've got a little bit of headroom for D-Clip 2 to reconstruct the missing part of the waveform. And to provide a little bit of extra glue across the mix, I'm using Acon Digital's Dynamics module. Let's hear that without and with. working nicely and this thing takes some provocation before it starts to sound rough let's see what we can get it to do I'm also using Acon Digital's Equalize 2 module just to buy myself a little bit of shaping across the mix. So lots of quality processing available inside Acoustica using Acon Digital's own plugins there. And we also have the built-in tools here as well. So some of the more familiar fixes in here as well. Now, ordinarily, if I have a track that has too much reverb, it's baked in. There's not a lot I can do about that. But Acon Digital has a trick up its sleeve. So my track starts like this. If it's true what they say, life's a beach. So I'm using Deverberate 3 from Acon Digital in my chain. So if I just call that up. And at this point, I'm just going to move Deverberate in front of the Dynamics processor there, just so that my compression isn't going to change any of the decisions that I make in Deverberate here. So listen to this without and with, especially the effect on the word beach. If it's true what they say, life's a beach. 
If it's true what they say, and life's a beach. So very impressive there. Um, top left, we have the reverb estimation. So if those values are known in the existing audio, you can dull those in to give an even better chance of success. But if you're unsure, you can just dial that right the way back and then roll it in until you start to hear artifacts. If it's true what they say, and life's a beach, then let the time come so starting to get some kind of expansion type artifacts going on there. So I'll just undo that, dial it back in. If it's true what they say, and life's a beach. Then... So that is using Acoustica from Acon Digital for music mastering. To find out more and to read our full article, head over to the Production Expert blog.